Okay, this video will be covering how to do an RS Logix 5000 emulation using the RS Logix Emulator 5000. Uh, first off, you need to know that you need to have the version of RS Logix 5000 emulator that you're running on your RS Logix 5000. So if you're if you're running version 20 on your RS Logix 5000, you need to have version 20 on your RS Logix Emulator 5000. Now start off with open up em your emulator. And I like to use, generally I, I use slot zero. Um, just hit create. Uh, select your emulator, RS Logix emulator 5000 controller. Select your version, which again, this is version 20. Click finish. You'll see that it's input in, into that slot at that point. Then open up 5000. Then you want to open a new program. Make sure that you have emulator selected for your, your processor type, which is the emulator controller right here. Select your version, version 20. For the sake of this video, we'll put practice emulation. And then we'll select our, our slot, which is zero. That's where we put, if you look down here, that's where we put the uh, the controller and the virtual chassis was slot zero. So make sure you have slot zero there. So now we have the program made. Um, we have obviously no data in it. Um, so at this point, we can do one or two things. We can go ahead and, and edit everything we want to offline. Or we can just prove the fact that it works and make sure when you click who active so I have to do that real quick again I'll go to communications um, who active then you go to your your virtual chassis right here so you open it up in RS links virtual chassis slot zero click download will be rather quick then it's, it's uh, it has no you know no logic behind it um, see right now it's you can see right now it, it's not in run IO or anything so if I click run right here it's going to change it the processor is now running if you look at the emulator the processor isn't running so in that point we can go ahead just to prove this fact out we can add a wrong uh, real quick add a timer just to show that it, it is running see as of you know running off with with no chassis or no physical chassis or, or any kind of physical hardware or anything but you can actually practice you can do whatever you want you can simulate code um, you can you can I mean the sky's the limit right you can kind of teach yourself you can learn what different instructions do um, have add-ons um, you know just use the, the complete capability of the software use an emulator and this is basically you know give you a foundation that you can kind of grow on without actually having hardware. So at this point, say for instance you wanted to shut it down, click go offline, you can close it out, uh, of course I'm not, I don't want to save it, just make sure when you, before you close emulator out that you right click it and put it in program mode and then remove. 
but you want to do that basically so that next time you start it up it doesn't lock up or doesn't have any problems and at that point you know you can close it down and as soon as it closes, closes out uh, everything's fine then you know that's just basically a, a real quick cut and dry method of, of how to use RS Logics with RS Logics emulator 5000 and again it, it is version dependent so make sure you, that you are using the correct version of the emulator and uh, anyway I just want to thank you for listening and uh, we'll have more to come thank you